so that would be negative 20 plus 20 that would give you a zero this means the whole candle will vanish or burn out after five minutes and will get the zero height and also we are asked about the domain and range of assalamu alaikum in this video we will discuss about function and relation but before going to explain mathematical definition of function i would like to give you a few everyday life examples for the function so you can understand it easily functions are everywhere in real life that's why they are really important in mathematics you will see that in every mathematics textbook from high school to bachelors there's a special chapter dedicated to function and relation any time an action influences another you have a function and you can find a number of examples in everyday life around you for example you will see that winter cloth sale increases in the winter or jaise wo summer ki taraf hum approach karte hain weather change ho raha hota hai to wo sale bhi decrease ho jati hai or ice cream sale function jo hai that's also dependent on the weather summer mein uska increase zyada hota hai isi tarah aap bahut si aisi cheeze dekhenge jo kisi aur another factor se affect ho rahi hoti hain even now main aap se jo baat kar rahi hu mera sound waves mein travel karta hua aapki taraf pahunch raha hai aur aap isko sun rahe hain it's called a sensory function jo main bol rahi hu wo input hoga mera sound aur jo aap tak pahunchega waves mein travel karta hua aur aap sunne ke baad aap understand karoge aur aapka ek perception banega yes who is speaking to you to wo aapka output hoga hearing is a process by which we understand or make sense of the sounds around us it emphasizes the connection between the input sound and the output our understanding or perception of those sounds similarly we have another example that cost of a taxi ride is a function of distance because whenever you taxify you hire a cab the cost or the charges will depend on the destination that where you have to go how far your destination is agar aapne dur jana hoga to wo aapko zyada pay karna hoga agar aapki nearby ki destination hai to aapko kam it means that that cost depend on how far you have to go how far you have to travel what is the actual distance you have to cover now here we have another example the growth of the plant is a function of time in this graph you will see that first week the growth of the plant or the height is 25 cm the next week 35 and third week its height is 40 and the fourth week height is 60 cm iska kya matlab hai as the time passes the height or the growth of the plant increases so it depends on the time okay here we have another example for the function students marks in specific subjects in column first we are given the name of students and in the second column for the subject quantitative reasoning one marks of these students are given zoha got 22 marks sarfaraz got 18 marks amama got 15 and wasif 21 and it's also a kind of one one function because here you can see that zoha got only 22 marks aisa nahi hoga ke wo koi do tarah ke marks ek hi subject mein ek hi class mein le isi tarah baki sab students bhi कोई एक ही स्पेसिफिक मार्क्स होंगे उनके सो इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ वन वन फंक्शन बट राइट नाउ डोंट वरी अबाउट द वन वन फंक्शन वी विल डिस्कस दीज इन शाला लेटर बट राइट नाउ जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वट इज अ फंक्शन हाउ वी कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन फंक्शन एंड रिलेशन एक्चुअली दैट फंक्शन इज अ क्रॉस मॉर्निंग बिटवीन टू सेट्स ए एंड बी दो मस्ट बी नॉन एम्पटी and each element of set a is uniquely mapped with the element of p to idhar aap dekhe sabhi uniquely mapped hai sabke unique number hai yahan second column mein aur for example agar hum is tarah se kuch function le le idhar se hum student zoha le lete hain aur aur unke mark english ke pe aaye hain let's say 20 math se let's say 25 it means that this is the relation between zoha and her marks in different subjects is tarah aap baki subjects bhi le sakte it would be a relation jab bhi aapke paas is tarah se v mapping aagi ye v hai v mapping hogi wo aapke paas relation hoga function hi hoga kyunki function ka definition ye hai ki each element of set a should be uniquely mapped with the element of p aur yahan pe uniquely map nahi hai zoha ke hi marks discuss kar rahe hain yahan pe hum uske different subjects mein isliye ye relation hoga zoha ka aur uske different subjects mein performance ka 
मार्क्स का फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक ही फादर के या मादर के पेरेंट्स के डिफरेंट किड्स हो सकते हैं टू थ्री डिफरेंट नेम हो सकते हैं तो वो भी काइंड ऑफ रिलेशन होगा द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द फंक्शन इज फंडामेंटल टू मैथमेटिक्स एंड प्लेज आर क्रूशियल रोल इन वेरियस मैथमेटिकल डिसिप्लिन दे आर की टू डिस्क्राइबिंग द रियल वर्ल्ड इन मैथमेटिकल टर्म्स एक्चुअली हम जो रियल लाइफ स्नैरियो होते हैं उन्हीं को मैथमेटिकल मॉडलिंग करके फार्मूला और डिफरेंट फंक्शन में कन्वर्ट कर सकती है दीज मैथमेटिकल मॉडल ऑफ रियल लाइफ स्नैरियो हेल्प अस टू अंडरस्टैंड द फंक्शन एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज नेक्स्ट वी विल सी दैट हाउ वी कैन डू मैथमेटिकल मॉडलिंग ऑफ यू रियल लाइफ स्नैरियो द ग्रोथ ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया ओवर द टाइम ऑफन फॉलोज एन एक्सपेनेशन मॉडल द एक्सपेनेशन ग्रोथ फंक्शन इज कॉमनली रिप्रेजेंटेड एज P of t is equal to p naught times e raised to power r t, where this p of t is the population of bacteria at time t, and p naught is initial population of bacteria, e is the mathematical constant, and its approximated value is two point seven one eight. R is the growth rate of the bacteria population, t is the time. This formula illustrates how the population changes over time, and it exemplifies mathematical function that can describe the growth of bacteria in various setting similarly we can consider another modeling of real life scenario how it forms a function a candle is 20 cm tall 4 cm burn away per minute what are the domain and range in the context of the problem first of all to hum ye dekhenge ki hum iska modeling kaise kar lenge in form of mathematical function hum isko kaise kar lenge और डोमेन और रेंज के बारे में भी हम थोड़ा बहुत डिस्कस कर लेंगे लेकिन इसका डिटेल से हम बाद में करेंगे इसको डिस्कस सबसे पहले इस की हम मॉडलिंग देख लेते हैं टू मॉडल द हाइट ऑफ द बर्निंग कैंडल्स एज इट डिक्रीजेज ओवर टाइम यू कैन यूज अ लीनियर फंक्शन द जनरल फार्मूला फॉर द लीनियर फंक्शन इज वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस पी द इनिशियल हाइट ऑफ द कैंडल इज ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर द रेट एट विच द कैंडल बर्नस is 4 cm per minute therefore the linear function representing the height of the candle so here as a function of the time t can be expressed as h of t the height function of the candle is equal to negative 4 t plus 20 so this is actually what this 4 is rate at which the candle will burn per minute and t is the time here we can change the time t 1 2 3 and we will see that what will be the candle height after each minute and this 20 is the initial height of that one as we can see that it is mx plus b and here because it's a function of time so instead of x we will take here t m is the rate of burn per minute so that would be 4 and why this negative 4 is because its height is decreasing per minute due to burning so that's why this is negative 4 now here This is the mathematical formula for that real life scenario. Now this height is a function of time t. It depends on the time. Initially it would be 20 cm height the candle height and then it will decrease its height 4 cm per minute. And at the end we will see that at what minute it whole will be burned out. Now here we have a function candle height function. Initially if we take 0 minutes So what would happen here if time is zero? Then negative four time is zero plus twenty. It will give you zero times negative four. That would be zero plus twenty. So that would be twenty. The candle height would be twenty at time zero at t equal to zero. Now we can check the height of the candle after first minute. Now this time we need to substitute here one. That would be negative four times one. Because t is one now this time plus twenty that would be equal to negative four plus twenty that would be sixty now you can see that at one minute height of the candle is sixteen centimeter because it decreases its height due to burning process four centimeter similarly after second minute where the t is two we will get here twelve centimeter because it will decrease its height four centimeter more and we will get twelve centimeter. and then at t equal to 3 the height of the candle will be 8 cm at t equal to 4 when we will substitute here in this formula t equal to 4 we will get the height 4 cm and then at t equal to 5 so let us consider that what would happen now h of t where t is 5 we will get negative 4 t is 5 
plus 20 the initial height of the candle so that would be negative 20 plus 20 that would give you a zero this means the whole candle will vanish or burn out after five minutes and will get the zero height and also we are asked about the domain and range of this function here on x-axis we are given the domain values whatever we are substituting inside the function here the t values that would be 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 all these are the domain value input values what we are substituting in the function and on the y-axis here we are given the range value domain would be actually all the input values the t values so that would be 0 1 2 3 and 4 5 till 5 so all these are the domain value and the range value will be the height of the candle whatever is on y axis given 20 centimeter because when we substituted x sorry t equal to 0 that would be 20 height then 1 minute it would be 16 because of burning process it will decrease its height 4 centimeter then again 4 centimeter it would be 12 centimeter at 3 8 and finally at 5 t equal to 5 we will get the 0 here whole candle burned out or vanish in next video we will discuss in detail Mathematical definition of function, domain and range. Thank you. See you in the next video.